You have two live shows coming up on May 15th and May 18th, which is really exciting for a lot of us to watch. And I'm sure it's really exciting for you to produce. If you had to do one scene with an actor, and they had to do the scene with a toddler or a dog, what would you, what would you want? I'd probably go with a dog. Why? Toddlers are too unpredictable. And we have a lot of kids on our show. We have Avery, AJ, we have Danny, we have... Uh, we have Harper, Kirsten's... Sir, Harper. Harper's actually really good. Yeah, well, she comes naturally. I'm I cast Harper. That was my idea. I said, why don't we just have her do it? It'd be so much easier for everybody. Totally. I'm going to go with toddler because I've done it before where I've had to make it work with toddlers, and I feel like I'm pretty good at it, and dogs are completely unpredictable. And dirty. No, we don't like to get dirty. Oh, dog. I, I don't do... I don't... I don't do... I don't do well with my babies. Either one. I'm good with babies, and I'm good with puppies. Live TV, Galen. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? By the way, if the baby throws up on you or the dog pees on you, people are gonna not. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. It'll be trending by the end of the to, day. You just have to take whatever it is that happens in that moment and roll with it, which I love. You're great at that. She hates me right now. Who writes these? Who writes these? I do. Um. <laughs> wow, I think a toddler. Yeah. They're surprising. They're they're interesting, and they're always watchable. Oh, a dog. <laughs> like I could maybe control the dog a little bit more. Kids, like, you know, I love kids, but I'm like, oh no, I don't want to like. Yeah, you know, like I don't, like, don't do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, toddler. Really? Why? I do a toddler because dogs. Um, I want to. I want to. You know, I have no idea why I said that. I really. I, I had. I thought I had. An, I thought I had a reason. I just thought, uh, baby. Pick the dog. Pick the dog. Pick the dog. I'll pick the dog. Pick the dog. Ah, dog. All right. Baby's crying. You can't stop him. Yeah, but if the dog is barking. No. He'll pee on your leg. He'll pee on my leg. Oh my. Take the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think a dog actually might be more predictable. We're not worried. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely a dog. I love dogs. As long as it was a rescue. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Let's do both. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? If we're going live, anything goes. So the child could save me or the dog could save me. Says a total vet who could manage both in her sleep. The devil makes a deal with you. You get to win an Emmy, but you have to gain 50 pounds for the period of one year and you can't tell anybody why. What would you want? Yeah, I would love to be fat for a year. <laughs> Why not? It's like, that would trip. be so much fun. Are you kidding me? And you won't, like, can you lose it, like, easily? After 12 months, you go back to normal. Oh, man. I just don't think I would ever be able to lose it because I love food too much. So I think I would have to say... You would have to say not win the Emmy. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's so hard. I'm like, but I really want an Emmy. Like, if I could still work as an actress. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do that, but you're not. You're not leading lady material anymore, according to Hollywood. A quirky character. Yeah. Done. Fifty pounds yeah. Emmy and working. Okay, I do it. <laughs> as long as I could lose it. Yeah, you could lose it, but after twelve months, I would just wink <laughs> and say, "You just wink." No. No way. <laughs> That would be, no, I can't, no. Why? I'm gonna, because I'm going to take my chances. I think girls with curves are beautiful. Some of my my favorite icons are like Beyonce and Jennifer Lopez, and I think that I think it's sexy, honestly. I totally do it. Yeah. I love donuts, man. Donuts and biscuits and gravy, please. That'd be like heaven to me. I'm like, I get to be fat and get paid for it. All right. I don't know. That's the excitement of I don't know. Oh, this is actually really good because you're on Biggest Loser. Right, I know, right? It's like I want to say to you, like, no, that's not good for you, obviously. There, and like, how would you lose it? But how would you do it, Allie? Just go for it. Yeah, like, but then is that cheating? I, I don't know. I'm super competitive. I feel like I would want to win on my own merit. No, I think I'm going to say no. All right. I would want people to genuinely pick me. Would you rather get drunk with George Clooney or have breakfast with Hillary Clinton? Drunk with George Clooney. For sure, Ziz. <laughs> yep, I'll do that. Oh, Hillary Clinton. A hundred percent. Wow, that's a good one. Um, can I just have a drink with George Clooney and still have breakfast? I played basketball with Clooney once. 
Did you really? Who won? In New York. Oh, well, it was a bunch of people, but our team didn't win. No three-pointers, huh? Nah, it was fun. George? Well, I've actually had breakfast with Hillary, so I'm going to go with George. Ah, you're such a snob. When did you have breakfast? I don't know. I was in a USO thing, and we met Hillary in the morning. Yeah. That's a, that. It was called Breakfast with Hillary. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a very, that's tough. That's tough. Well, you know, I think I'm going to go with Breakfast with Hillary for only for the, for this reason. If it were Breakfast with George, I might go for that too. But it's one on one. So as opposed to the party where you have people interrupting the conversation constantly, I would go for the breakfast. Well, I'm not particularly thrilled right now with Hillary. Um, we will give her time to redeem herself. Erasing and deleting emails, not good. Um, so possibly a drink with George today. I would do lunch with David Bowie. <laughs> Ooh, that's tough. Uh, hmm. I think I'd, I think I'd party with George Clooney. Party with George Clooney. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here.